Maybe this vandal was a mistake. Holy shit. Did I just scratch the car door? Let's go. Gizmo. Gizmo. <laughs> Come on, buddy. So we arrived at a local park where we're gonna have a walk and have a talk with you guys. Our cat's getting fat. On his neck, he's like really okay, but. Oh, buddy, you're getting a bit fat. You're a bit too chubby. You know what? He's just been too much spoiled in his temporary place with his grandpa and grandma. Hey, guess what? How's it going there? How's it going, buddy? We just met this other van lifer, I mean, kind of, on the parking lot. Yeah, I think he's already in the next phase of settling down, buying a house, yeah. etc. Which brings us to the first thing he wanted to talk about today. Because he was saying like, oh, that's really cool what you're doing. It, just, it takes a lot of time, doesn't it? It really takes a lot of time. I mean, we've already had a crazy year with actually having some accidents, having sitting with COVID and all that kind of stuff. We are realizing that it takes a lot of time to build a van. Don't get too excited that you can think that you want to build a van in two months. I mean, it's perfectly possible, but we're perfectionists, at least I'm a perfectionist, so I'd love to take our time. Bo has to go to her job, I have to go to my job. Yeah. So we're finding the balance in that, and uh, in the meantime also work actually on the van. It's been 18 months since we bought our van, and first we planned to finish it in six months. So, you know, <laughs> we're yeah. just kind of a year behind. It's gonna be a roughly a year, I think, that we're building the van, gross total. This is a beautiful walk and we're enjoying every bit piece of it, right? Yeah, because we've been so busy and sick and yeah, we didn't really have time to go for nice walks in the forest in the fall, which is really beautiful. So I'm glad we could squeeze this little walk in with Gizmo so he doesn't forget what it means to go outside and he doesn't stay in his comfort zone too much. This is really nice. Hey, I heard you want to leave this place but we all right guys now that we arrived at the woods and we we're talking about everything it started raining oh. hopefully it doesn't rain too long it shouldn't be raining but yeah that's the thing about belgium you never know when it's raining isn't it there's a lot of other components that a lot of people don't really think about when they start building a van. They just see the glamorized Instagram people like laying in their van, looking out of a beautiful mountain and like, oh yeah, we spent like three months building our van. It was easy. Now we're here. Don't get fooled. It's not that easy. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of money, more than we anticipated, to be honest, because we want to live in our van full time and we want to have a really good setup. Like we want to be able to go off grid for 
about a week, maybe even more, without having to worry about not having enough power, not having enough water, and like this rain is really getting to us. I might have to go to the van now. So this van ball isn't a walk in the park. It's not like this walk in the park. It's much harder. <laughs> Gizmo, you okay? okay? We gotta go okay, back. Okay, let's, go. Rain, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Run, darling, run, 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 run. I mean, we're still covered by trees. Oh. Run, run, run. Holy smoke. I mean, we do love a little bit nature. Unfortunately, the weather isn't really in our favor. It's raining so hard, you guys. I hope Gizmo's not gonna be soaked. Whew. Well, we're inside. Gizmo's wet. We're wet. And our van isn't finished, so it's not like we can come back and make a cup of tea and like dry off and relax. No, we have to like get ready here and go back to my parents because that's where we're living now. That's what building a van means, you know, moving back to your parents' place <laughs> to finish your van build. <laughs> Gotta clean the lens. Yeah. Because it's a bit dirty, guys. I hope you can see me. <laughs> that frigging rain. So we moved back to my parents' place just for a while. But uh, these are all the things that are part of part of the process, you know, part of moving into a new home. You sometimes you need like a pe small period of time to yeah move somewhere else, just or like put your principles aside and just do something just because it's going to be the best outcome in the end. So not no one ever told me that I was going to move back with my parents. <laughs> At first we thought we buying the van, we're building it. Six months later we're moving in it. Well, new slash that didn't happen. Oh man, can you just imagine if our van was then already completely done? Then we could just drink a coffee, drink a tea, Gizmo could chill out in our bed. We could probably watch uh, Netflix or something in this rain. Because it's somewhere satisfying to be surrounded in nature, having these raindrops on our van also. <laughs> Forgive us <laughs> for being over dramatic with everything. I mean, we're still doing our van build, of course. It just takes a little, of, a little bit more time. <laughs> we thought we would be finished within six months. Of course, that didn't happen. I mean, I had an injury on in my wrist. No, no. Both got COVID. We had to move from our old apartment to a temporary place with our uh, boys' parents. Van conversions are always portrayed as this really glamorous, easy way to like start traveling. But it's kind of like building a house in a way, you know, because every inch in the van you need to really use it well and there comes a lot of time into thinking and into researching and there's a horse over there with a really cute dog so i hope you can see that still guys <laughs> windows are a bit dirty that's but... like the third or the fourth dog we're seeing today this is like dog heaven this area <laughs> i guess more oh, don't be fooled by the hype of fan life i mean you always see the glamorous side of glam fan life and yes that's certainly a big part of it but there's also some downsides i mean for example, the van build it won't always go according to plan. There are things that along the way of your van build you won't anticipate. It's gonna be a home. So we'd rather just take a little longer building out this van than starting with it when it's done quicker but less good and then realizing after a while that we actually need to do it all over again and then wasting like a whole lot more time and energy than we're doing now. We do not regret buying this van, converting this van, but to be honest, we really have underestimated the amount of work, money and energy that comes into building a van. All right, but that being said, we're going home now. Yeah. We were bound to make mistakes. We love, we thought. It was always on fire. So guys, we're back home and now I'm going to give you a small tour of the van, what we've been doing the past few weeks. So for example, we've done a lot of wiring <laughs> in our van. Look at this. So it's a lot, I know. We've already tried to make a video of our electrical setup that massively failed, of course. Why would you choose, Johnny? This is what we're dealing with. <laughs> oh my Freaking God. cars everywhere. Uh, the moment you want to start filming, you put up everything for your vandal and that, that. Yeah, there's a lot of sound in here of cars going by this road. So we'll make a proper video when everything is finished. So we installed our LED lights. 
we've tested it out actually also and it's working perfectly with our dimmers we shared it in our stories of instagram share on the followers on instagram if you want to follow us we've actually installed our finishing cup head unit space we can actually store some stuff in here of course that means also that we're gonna like paint this so this is, won't be visible in this color of course yeah we've installed our conduits in the back of our shower so yeah that was basically it i have done barely anything because i've been healing from covid which means we're really sick so hopefully in the next few months i can help out as well so we can get this building done like quicker we have our struggles okay, okay? we have our struggles and our challenges building a van is not easy it's not a walk in the park like it like we just did it's easy <laughs> we just take a lot of our time that's it you can do a lot of ways of building a van you can do it in a very budget very quick way if you just want to put a mattress in your van and that's going to make you happy then please go for it you know it's better to do that than just not anything at all and just don't make your dream come true because you think it's too expensive in the meantime guys we hope you enjoyed this video and you still want to support our channel by following us if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos of us in the future with our van build progress and travels that's going to be Hopefully nearby, because I've been telling this in the past few latest <laughs> videos that we're going to be there in a couple of months. Now it's for real. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we'll see you next time, guys. Bye. In today's video, we're going to talk about our Victron setup and why we've chosen it. But those... All right, in today's video... In today's video, we're going to talk about our Victron setup. Oh, love. And, and later on in the video, 